my friends, welcome to the channel and today I'm really, really excited for the video of the watch of today and it's time for Rolex and this is one of the best watches in my personal opinion that Rolex has ever made for several reasons. I mean, I'm going to be talking about the new Rolex GMT Master all in white gold, so this is the Pepsi but with the meter at dial. So this is a very, very interesting piece, very interesting in the market, very interesting materials. So we really have a lot to talk this particular model that is, of course, this is a 40 millimeter watch. I think it's beautiful, 18 karat gold, amazing, amazing piece. And just like I always start my videos, my friends, I would really appreciate it for you to give us a like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's free and it's going to help this channel a lot. So. It's time to stop talking and start talking about the new Rolex GMT Master. So please tell me what do you think. All right, so now it's time to take this beautiful watch out of the box, my friends. And you guys already know I can help you with more brands such as Cartier, Bulgari, Gucci, uh, Mont Blanc, Hublot, Tudor and Diamonds and many, many more stuff. So you can always contact me on the links below. Tell me what are you looking for? So hopefully I can help you build your collection or sorry, satisfy your jewelry needs. Um, and probably in the next, in the future, I will also be able to help you with houses also. But anyways, that's not the point of the video. Today is time for Rolex and it's a very cool piece, my friends. I really have a lot to talk about you guys, uh, the market and the watch and materials and everything else. So, Let's start. I'm going to start just with the, you know, the basics, the specifications of the watch. Uh, I mean, everybody, I mean, if you're a watch guy, you already know this is one of the hardest pieces to find in Rolex, especially any GMT watch. It's really, really hard to find. This is something not usual you're going to find in any showcase. And of course, it's actually even hard, even for, for regular good customers. So first of all, this is a 40 millimeter piece, guys. Uh, it's 18 karat white gold. And of course, we have a mirrored dial. I'm gonna talk a little bit more about it in the, in the next few minutes. Uh, this is a bi-directional bezel. It means you can move it for both sides. Of course, this is an automatic movement. Uh, you have 70 hour power reserve. It's 100 meter water resistant. That means it's 300, 330 feet. And of course, also uh, the price, the retail price for this particular model is only 39,900. And I'm saying only because we already know this is a watch that you don't find uh, on showcase and it's going to be, a, I mean, you might be able to find it on the gray market, but what I was uh, researching, I found this watch around 60,000, around to 75, 70, $75,000. I actually saw a, a, one of uh, the listings for $90,000 to in my personal opinion, I think it's crazy. He will never get that particular money for that, for that watch, at least for now, right? But that's just my personal opinion. I mean, the market, we can never predict the market. We don't know what's going to happen in the future. So, you know, it might end up getting, getting into a hype, just like the Rolex Daytona green dial. That, in my personal opinion, I really think this GMT Master, it really takes the grail for the best watch Rolex has ever made, just in my personal, at least for the new watches, right? And the new, the new models that you can find right now, because I know they used to make really vintage watches before, and, you know, there are still collectibles. So one of the best, most interesting parts, most one of the most interesting features of the watch, of course, is mirror dial. And this is very, very interesting, guys. I was doing a little bit of research about that particular metal because it's actually metal that came to earth, um, according to the resources, it was millions of years ago. So this is basically one of the ra raddest, ra one of the raddest, oh, you know, whatever, whatever it is pronounced, materials on earth. So this is actually one of the hardest things it, I mean, it's still a hard watch to find, and then it's still a hard material to find. I mean, it really has a combination of everything that I think is really amazing, and it's really, really cool. So it is actually, it's out of this world, right? It, it really is, because it's, it's a stone that is not from the earth. Um, one of the things that I would say, this is called the Gibeon uh, Meteorite, and this is actually, um, it's reported, the first time they report this model, this model, this uh, material was in, nine, in 1838 by Captain G.E. Alexander. I don't know where she's from anyways. But the point is, uh, it's, this is a material that fell on Earth during prehistoric times. So this is in Nim Namibian Africa. That's where they basically found this uh, a meteorite and they of course uh, people were you know mining in or harvesting or whatever it's called uh, that particular you know 
uh, material, but nowadays it's actually uh, it's actually protected by uh, Namibian law. So this is basically that means nobody else can harvest this beautiful, beautiful stone. So this is something you will never and you know you will never see again. At least until they find another one, maybe I don't know what what could happen, right? But this is a practically a thing that we're not going to be able to see at least probably in any other brand as, uh, as you know, uh, you know, unless they already have their stone in their bolts or whatever it's called. So basically, I don't know how Rolex is doing it, but basically they're still managing a way to produce beautiful watches, beautiful pieces with this very rare material. So this is something that Rolex is really taking uh, a lot of work. It's doing a great work, a great job making beautiful pieces collectibles also so i'm really thinking this watch is always going to hold its value uh, at least for now especially of course we have a mirror dial so this is something that is really a, a plus and extra in this particular model so it's something you will not going to see again so i think that's pretty much all i have to tell you about this beautiful watch i think i cover most of the parts that i really wanted to cover so in my if i'm missing something else i would really appreciate for you to let us know uh, tell me if i'm if i give a, a wrong information i will also appreciate you know the point of the channel is to everyone here in the channel we can all learn together and you know enjoying these beautiful toys uh, going into our journey looking for watches that i think it's it's really fun and at the same time it's frustrating but i mean it's it this is kind of like a game i love it it's cool I, it's fun and i really love the type of customers that you know this business brings to you right so i want to say thank you very much to my friend uh for letting me record this watch it's a really cool piece amazing i love it hopefully you are going to take care of it forever and and you know enjoy your piece enjoy your watch hopefully in, in one of you guys are watching if you have one of these pieces in your collection i would really appreciate for you to also let us know tell me what you think about the watch tell me if you were wet it or not and what else i'm missing i think that's pretty much it really uh they just I mean, I think this is the only GMT master, the only GMT you can find with this dial. So it's really cool. It's amazing. I love the bezel. It's a watch that, of course, the bezel gives you, uh, it gives you a second time. So you have a 24 hour clock in your bezel and then you have your regular hour and you have a date. So uh, this is a really cool watch, beautiful piece. Um, I always recommend not to wear watches like gold watches every day but honestly everybody can do whatever they want in their watches nowadays they are more covered than before because now they come with ceramic uh, tubes on their pins so it's actually uh, more secure so the watch is not going to be how does that call i don't know how to call it but basically the band is always it's more secure bro and basically that's what it means you know the band is not going to have a lot of friction between the links so it's always uh try to uh, you know maintain the gold in great condition so i think that's pretty much all i have to talk about this particular model so that's pretty much it tell me what you think of the watch and um i hope you guys had a great weekend and see you next time my friends thank you very much see you next time